And good morning everyone, everyone. Magandang umaga po. Let me just double check everything. Audio is doing well. Ayun. Uh, that's good. Let me just lapit ko lang ito ng konti. Alright, so, um, very good topic for today. Pasensya na sa background ko. Alright, let me just close my door really quick. One moment, please. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, Nag-rearrange kasi ako ng camera so yung laundry ko nasa likod nakita ninyo <laughs> sa China. Alright, anyways, today we're gonna be talking about uh, expounding more per, uh, perhaps in the topic last sat- Saturday. Kasi we had, a, we had a program last Saturday and we talked about um, ways to earn. And isa sa topic doon is real estate. And I think we, I wanna, uh, I wanna, I wanna focus more on real estate and uh, explain it further on the episode today so that we have a different avenue to invest on also for you to know. Okay, so real estate investing ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Um, hopefully, um, some of you are already investing in real estate. I know so many Filipinos are already... Uh, starts with real estate in, uh, even, di ba? Unang-unang investments on real estate. Um for me personally, I do not recommend that, uh, especially because karamihan sa mga Pinoy is kulang pa sa education when it comes to investing, and I consider uh, real estate to be one of the most uh, pinaka uh, pinakamalaking uh, investment move yun eh. And when it comes to investing, you have to start small. Investments, uh, real estate investments are very big, so it tends to be at the latter part of your investment. You have to have the basic small investments first before you go to real estate. Uh, I'll talk more about that, but it's a very, very beautiful investment um, technique that you can apply in your, what we call this, in your investment moves in the future. So yeah, um, we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of real estate investing also. And what are we going to talk about? Ways to earn in real estate and what are the things you need to consider before you go into real estate. Um, Ayun. Um, let me just go to the comments really quick. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like, this is from Joy Ligaras. Um, Longrio Platil. Good morning po. Hops, good aim, sir. Ano po take nyo sa Frutas IPO chart request IRC? So we'll go um, We'll go to those stocks later on. Meron din ang mga recommendations sa inyo. So I just want to have a very quick topic about real estate investments. Um, which is, let me just... Uh, share my screen all right let's start the topic and if you have any questions uh please go ahead and place it on the comments so i can answer you the best as i can um this presentation a special shout out to uh credits to mr john penetrante in yung co-speaker natin um last weekend and he shared his slides with us and i'm going to be using it again and share to you uh and, and focus more about real estate investments he's a real estate uh, property expert, um, agent po siya, nagbibenta po siya ng real estate and also an investor, he has real estate investments also and he's sharing, he shared to us his knowledge. And, um, yeah, sa so mga investors na Pinoy, real estate, pag-usapan natin. So, yes, what is real estate investment? Let's start, right? What is real estate investment? It involves the purchase, ownership, management, rental, and or sale of real estate, real estate for profits. Uh, improvement of real real uh, realty, realty property as part of real estate investment strategy is generally considered to be a subspecialty of real estate investing called real estate development. Um, Atong last na part kasi uh, medyo capital intensive. If you want to go to this in the future, yes, you definitely can, but it's very capital intensive, which is real estate uh, development. You, that means na bili ka lupa, you develop it, maybe create a subdivision, or gandang subdivision, and that's very big. Uh, or create a condo perhaps oh, it's the uh, it's the biggest form of real estate investment which is development diba? real estate development sila Ayala uh, sila marami pa dyan, Santa Lucia VLL yung mga kilala niyo po it's on real, real estate development and you know that it's a very lucrative business if you are into real estate development okay um Right, so that is what real estate investment is. Now, I want to uh, unahin ko po talaga is uh, how do I go to the next slide? Ayan. 
unain ko ang disadvantages and advantages of real estate investment right so unain ko ang advantages right so what what are the advantages in real estate investing okay number one is you can build equity for the future right so kasi um, di ba karamihan ng mga pinoy pasweldo sweldo lang naman tayo di ba nagumpisa tayo sa sweldo so um, how do you build the equity for the future pwede kayong kumuha ng isang property and then hulugan niyo right at um hulug-hulugan po niyo and then in the future should you want to sell it diba mabebenta niyo parang para ring nabuo yung pera niyo in the future when you sell it so that's one way to build equity for the future so very good way to build equity for the future you can generate passive income very very important since i always teach about um passive income um real estate is one of the best way to generate passive income okay um how do you how do you make pass uh, ano how do you uh make uh real estate become a passive income source simple po you just buy a property and then rent it out right rent it out and then yung monthly na kinikita ninyo or quarterly i don't um depends on your contract with the one renting it you are going to be receiving that passively passive income meaning wala pa kayong ginagawa it's an income source that does not require your time right and attention kahit pa uh, pabayaan niyo lang yung bahay bahala na sila uh, and then you just give uh, you just receive uh, the rent right so that's passive income you can enjoy pasensya na kayo guys medyo may sipon ako can't speak properly but i hope you still can understand me properly anyways um you can enjoy the portfolio diversification benefits of owning a physical asset so it's a form of diversify diversifying your portfolio what portfolio investment portfolio po ninyo diba natuturo ako ng pag-ibig mp2 program uh, nagtuturo ako ng peso uh, sa sss po yan and then mga cooperatives and other forms of investments especially stock market so that's your investment portfolio and you can further diversify it by getting into real estate and this time it's a physical asset physical asset meaning makikita mo at mahahawakan mo kasi yung stock market right now it's all, all is digital diba um, hindi mo nahawakan yung assets mo which is yung stocks mo or you buy mutual funds hindi rin nakikita yan hindi mo rin nahawakan yan mp2 programs so it's not physical but here it's a it's owning a physical asset uh, diversification yung po yan so that's one of the advantage of it nakikita ninyo it's a, it has a very big psychological boost uh, uh, moral boost when, when it comes to your finances number four real estate investing is a hedge against inflation di ba pag inflation um, lumiliit ang value ng pera natin but uh, hedge meaning how do you fight inflation right so real estate investing is a hedge against inflation how does it hedge inflation pag nagmamahal ang mga bilihin kasama po sa magmamahal ang mga renta now if you have a property that you're renting out magmamahal din ang renta mo. Pag nagmahal ang renta mo, na nalabanan mo yung inflation kasi meron kang pangontra sa kanya, which is your, 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 your gaining income na mas malaki. Right? So, that is how you, uh, that is how real estate uh, hedges against inflation. And number five, there's a potential of high rate of return. How much is a high rate of return? It can be 20 to 30% annual. Pwede po yan. Um, by uh, doing this thing, this, this uh, strategy that we call um, uh, pre-selling flipping, right? Flipping. I'll explain to you further about that. So it has a potential of high rate of return, or pwede rin na yung property mo tapos nagbig nag, nagtayo bigla si Ayala na malapit sa inyo and um, gumawa ng mall or any malls, not just Ayala or kahit guys ano nga lang eh. Tapos malapit yung yung property property ninyo with the development it increases your uh the the appreciation value of your property and that is one thing that can give you high rate of return in your property investment so these are the advantages of real estate investing very beautiful right but i want you to consider the disadvantages also first before getting into this right Disadvantage of real estate investing is number one, uh, tanggalin ko lang to, ng dalawa ang number one na higher transaction costs. Very true. Uh, when you sell a property or when you buy a property, it deals with thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of pesos, even millions, diba? which is 
mahirap para sa atin mga nagsisimula pa lang sa nagsisimula pa lang magtrabaho or nagsisimula pa lang mag-ipon because we're just talking about thousands or some are hundreds pa nga eh. So it's not open to everyone. It, it is very expensive. It is very high in transaction costs, attorney fees, etc. And that, ang laking pera involved dito. Okay? So that's one of the disadvantages. Next is low liquidity. Low liquidity. Liquidity of your investment means the ability to turn that investment into uh, cash right away na pwede mong gamitin. Right? Very low liquidity. Um, disadvantage po nito is what if you need the money right away? For example, may emergency. Tapos kulang ang pera mo sa savings mo, kulang ang emergency funds mo. And so, may property ka dito. Right? Yan yung susunod na ma- 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 makakain. Eh. If, whenever there's emergency, the savings, una. Um, next is the investments. right? So, investments mo, tignan mo yung property mo. We need to sell the house or we need to sell the lot kasi si tatay nag-heart uh, attack or ganito, ganyan. Right? The problem there is, ang tagal po ibenta niyan. Right? It's not gonna be instant na, uy, mabibenta ko ito bukas and we have the money right away. Right? So, hindi ka kakain makakakuha ng seller. And the only way um, to be able to get a buyer right away is to sell it fast. Right? Sell it, I mean, sell it low. At a low price para mabenta. So, para makakuha ka ng magandang presyo, you have to sell it at a very cheap price. Minsan pa nga iba kalahati para lang mabenta ka agad. And that's the problem with liquidity. If kailangan mo, ng, kailangan mo yung pera ka agad, if you want it fast, baka hindi mo makuha ka agad or mabenta mo ng mababa. Right? Very low liquidity ang real estate. That's why, that's the reason why I always say real estate is part of nasa last yan. Kasi the, the money you put in real estate investing should be money that you won't be needing right away. Dapat meron na kay insurance, meron na kay emergency funds para kung magka-emergency man, hindi nyo kailangan ibenta ang properties niyo Kasi sayang yan pag ibibenta ninyo because of the low liquidity. So it should be, you should be at a financial state where you don't need the money right away. Okay? That's when you consider going to real estate. Kasi ma, uh, makukulong ang pera ninyo dyan. Okay? Requires management and maintenance. Yan, may, may management po yan, maintenance. Ang dami ko pong, ang dami ko pong nakakausap who wants to venture to real estate. May nagtatanong sa akin, Sir Lloyd, maganda bang bumili ng condominium ipa Airbnb ko? Right? I don't consider Airbnb as a, uh, what they call this, as a passive income source. It's uh, It's an income source. Nonetheless, but not passive income. Why? It needs heavy management. Unless na mag-sweldo ka ng tao to manage it, which is I don't recommend, if, especially if you're still starting, or isa lang naman ang property ninyo. Pero kung magpa-Airbnb kayo, araw-araw nyo po i-manage yan. You talk to clients. Every day, uh, you go to the property, tignan yung property, linisin nyo po yan. So it requires management and maintenance. Even if parentahan nyo pa nga yung buong bahay, masisira ng mga sisira ng mga tenants yan. So, it requires management and maintenance and that's money out of your pocket. So, one disadvantage. And then, number four is real estate can create liabilities. Yes, real estate can create liabilities po. Especially if you don't, um, f- uh, what do you call this? If you don't um, manage your funds well or you do not plan it out properly, right? Again, there's a big difference between asset and liabilities. Ito yung pin- pinaka problema ng mga Pilipino we buy liabilities. We think that, uy, bili ako ng condominium kasi uh, asset ito. Right? You have to know the difference between what an asset is and what a liability is. If that money, I mean, if that property is taking out pro- uh, money from your pocket, then that's a liability. If that property is uh, putting money into your pockets, then that's an asset. Yan, minsan, may mga property na sa isang lugar, akala mo maganda na, um, pero ang dami palang competition Right? Ang daming competition, ang daming nagpaparenta sa area na yan, at minsan-minsan lang kayo nakakakuha ng mga nagre-renta. And that's the problem. Um, instead of gaining, mas malaki pa yung expenses mo tuloy. Right? So that's very important. It can create liabilities also. If, for example, condominium, pag nagkasunog dyan, properties, uh, property price uh, plummets down and it creates a liability. Instead, hindi mo na mabenta yan or mahirap na ibenta yan pag nagkasunog dyan. That's one of the biggest risk of um, uh, owning a condo, especially mga high-risk, tapos mag, pag nagka-earthquake, tapos magka-cracks-cracks yung building na yan, property prices drops down. So, that's one of the things that you want to consider also. Now, that's the first part of the presentation. Ngayon is 
the most important part is how do you make money in real estate investing. Meron pa kasing housing and meron condominium properties na pwede mong bilhin. It's either of the two. Okay? Before I go to this, let me check the uh, let me check the comments of people. Maybe uh, maybe we have questions. RB, nasa C2, our speaker for November 10 and 11. Uh, hopefully, nakapag-register na kayo sa seminar na natin, day trading. RB, nasa C2, is our speaker also during that event. Uh, mabilis, nag-appreciate yung value dahil sa development ng city namin. Very good. right? If you are in a very good location, uh, may mga developments here and there, mas malakas ang appreciation. Then that's one way of earning. Kasi ito, ito yung number four, property appreciation. Alvin Galvez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pag hindi stable, Ang job, advisable po ba ang real estate like OFW now? Uh, any moment pwede ka ma-apekto na recession, ano po investment maganda for us? I do not recommend real estate right away for you guys, right? Pag hindi stable ang trabaho ninyo and plano nyo bilhin ang property is monthly, pag nawalan kayo ng trabaho, paano nyo po babayaran yan? Patay yan, Mas masasayang lang pera ninyo. No. Instead, put your money on a fund that is increasing, right? Very good. I want to focus on this first. Um, what I recommend is you set a goal. For example, five years from now, gusto ko makabili ng condominium para parentahan ko. So, kasi ngayon, nag nagbabayad pa. Um, hindi ko kaya ang malakihang bayad. It, ang kaya ko lang is monthly. Instead of buying a property now, what you do is put it on MP2 program. Pip, um, yung pera ninyo na pambayad ninyo na monthly, lagay niyo po sa MP2 program for five years. Every month, put money in it. For example, ang kaya niyo 10,000 every month. Lagay ninyo, 10,000 sa MP2 program, 10,000 until a year. Um, Nag-accumulate po yan, and then the compounding of the interest is very good. 8% po ang bigay ni, um, ni, ano, ni, ni MP2 ngayon sa mga investors nila. And after 5 years, you now have a bulk uh, amount, and that is when what you use to buy a property. It said, avoid um, monthly amortization as much as possible, as much as you can. Okay? So, if wala, di, di nyo pa kaya at not, di pa stable ang pera niyo and you don't have emergency funds na kung baka mawala na ako ng trabaho, wala na ako pang monthly sa property, baka mawala lang yan. If wala pa kayo at that level, put it in a P2 program instead. Palakihin nyo po muna and then that's what you start doing. Pwede nyo pa rin amortization at least meron na kayong bulk funds na in case may emergency, mawalan kayo ng trabaho, yun yung pambayad din nyo. Okay? Para hindi masaya yung property. Right? Um, ano po investment na maganda for us? Start with Pag-ibig MP2 program. The very, very basic Pag-ibig MP2 program. Um, meron pang mga cooperatives dyan. Farm on, seed in, mangisla.org that you can invest in. Also, to make your money grow or pwede, and then, yan, start with those lang muna. And then, as much as possible, meron din kayong insurance, VUL, right? A variable unit link kasi pag nagkasakit kayo ng major uh, maybe heart attack, kidney failure, etc., cancer, etc. Hindi po mabebenta yung property ninyo. Para kung magka-stroke man kayo and you're no longer fi uh, you're no you're no longer fit to work, hindi na kayo makapag-abroad. Okay lang kasi meron akong condo na nagbibigay sa akin ng pera monthly. Hindi yung pag nagkasakit ako, ay may wala akong insurance and I need 1 million. Benta ko lang yung condo ko. Tapos hindi na ako fit to work. Start from zero na kayo. Tapos wala na kayong trabaho. Sayang ang oras nyo. Sayang pinaghirapan ninyo. So, wag po masyadong aggressive into investments. Make sure, number one po, always number one, you have to have an insurance first. Kung wala pa kay insurance, unahin nyo po yan. Masasayang ang panahon ninyo kung mag-investment kayo kagad sa mga ganito. Alright, Derek Mack, tada! Alright, good morning. Meg po, please. Alright, so, Sir Pacheck, Aba. Alright, very good. Um, daanan natin yan ulit mamaya. <clears throat> Alright, so, very good. Um, Mabilis, uh, RB, I invested in a real estate 10 years to pay when I availed it. It was 5,500 per square meters. Now it's, sorry, ah, now it's 6,500. Excuse me for a meantime. Wait, sorry about that. Um, ayun. Okay pa si ISM prospect. I think it's still okay. Wala naman bad news eh. Market sentiments lang right now. It's very it's very down. Right? It depends on your purpose on getting into 
uh, the stock. All right, so let's go to the second part. We've already read uh, the comments. So now how to make money in housing condominiums. Number one is pre-selling flipping, right? So ganito kasi yan. Whenever, um, uh, what they call this, whenever a proper uh, property developer starts a project, right? Usually nagpi-pre-selling yan sila. Right, pre-selling meaning binebenta na nila ang possible properties na magiging physical in the future. They just sell you the idea, wala pang building, pero binebenta na nila sa inyo yung mga rooms. Kahit wala pa yung rooms dyan. So, it's called pre-selling. Mura pa siya kasi hindi pa naman ready yung bahay. Right, napakamura po na binebenta yan. Now, if you have funds there that you can start um, paying, uh, you can use to start paying the equities, pwede nyo pong gawin ninyo yan, bilhin nyo po yan. Right? Why? Um, very big um, turnaround sa investment ninyo po yan. Kasi if the property is good and nauna kayong bumili, um, there will be a time, certain point in time, na mauubos ang properties or mauubos ang properties sa development na yan. Maybe a condominium or maybe a housing. Uh, pag naubos po yan, magli maglilipatan ang mga presyo. So there are people who will want to still get in. And then they have no choice. If you want to buy... I have a pre-selling unit here. I want to sell it to you with um, increase of maybe 20%. Ikaw na magpatuloy. Then instantly, you gain 20% from the pre-selling. Kasi bigla, bigla, bigla ang yung demand. Because the supply is already out. Right? Law of supply and demand po itong uh, pre-selling flipping. The law of supply and demand, there is still demand but no more supply. It increases the prices. Right? So, if you want, kasi wala na available, I can sell mine to you. And instant 20% gains, maybe in a year, 20% gains kaagad yung pera ninyo na linagay nyo po sa, ano na yan, sa property na yan. Right? So that's one good way to earn in, uh, in what they call this, in real estate. Right? This is called the pre-selling flipping. Right? You are taking advantage of the law of supply and demand. But very risky also, what if... Uh, you have to make sure that it's a good property, maganda ang developer, maganda ang location para sure kayo na mauubos yan. Kasi pag pangit yung binili ninyo, hirap ibenta, uh, maraming, marami pang supply, eh hindi po mag increase yung pera ninyo. So mahirap po yan, right? So yes, this is one, one very good way to earn in the stock market. So you have to have funds available ready to take advantage of it. But remember, the one of the biggest disadvantage of real estate is liquidity. Hindi naman assurance na mabibenta mo kaagad Yan. Right? So, that's one of the biggest problems right there. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, next is rebuild and sell. Right? So, rebuild and sell. Meron kasi mga tao nung binabenta nila, second hand property na nila, or <clears throat> meron, nga dyan, meron nga dyan if marunong lang kayo sa pag-ibig, uh, meron po yung mga, dyan na mga nare-repossessed and then nagbibidding po yan, pinapabid po nila. Uh, pwede nyo pong bilhin yan, mas mura po yan. And then, may mga sira-sira na yan or mga may magbenta ng properties na um, sira na yung bahay, pwede mong sirain yung bahay, tapos magtayo ka ng bagong bahay dyan, tapos i-sell mo ulit at a bigger price. Right? That's very good way to earn also. Pero, again, liquidity ang pag-uusapan natin, hindi po nyo mababenta kagad yan. So, it should be money that you won't be needing right away. So, this is one way also to, um, to what they call this, to earn. Right? In real estate. Number one, pinakawalang masakit sa ulo is rental income. Pero meron kayong housing. Maybe it's in the city or somewhere near the city. Pwede nyo pong parentahan. Or hindi nyo na kailangan bumili ng property. What if may lupa po kayo, pwede kayo magtayo na lang ng bahay. Mas mura po pag ganun. If especially, um, right now, we are rebuilding our property here in Cebu. Ang ginagawa po namin is, since dati residential lang po yan, ang ginawa po namin is sisirain po ito and then, a little portion of it is for residential. And then, we sacrificed our privacy and comfort. Uh, major uh, major, uh, major area po ng property namin is ginawan po namin ng boarding house. Right? So, pwede nyo pong gawin, gawin yun. Right? The law of, the rule in, um, in financial freedom, sacrifice your comfort now. Having a house for privately for your own is a luxury. Right? And right now, I will sacrifice our luxury para sa profits. And then, pag mayaman na ako, bili na ako na mas, mag, mas mas private na bahay na gusto ko talaga. ba? Ganun ang financial freedom. So, you can do that. If meron kayong property ngayon, pwede nyo pong i-rebuild yan. Pwede po na ang, ang pinakababa pinaka na floor, 
bahay po ninyo, the second floors and the third floors, pwede nyo gawa ng separate entrance and then parentahan nyo po. Pwede po yan. Rental, mas mura po pag ganun kaysa bumili kayo ng condominium or bumili kayo ng, uh, ano, uh, what you call this, um, properties na bago. Okay, you can do that. You can sacrifice luxury. Because that's what I am doing right now. We're sacrificing a portion of our lot. Um, ginawa namin ng building para parentahan. Right, next is property appreciation. Right, this is one of the best things about real estate is because it's hindi siya nag, um, worst comes to worst, you can always argue with me na, okay lang yun, Sir Lloyd. Kahit na minsan liability yan, nag-appreciate naman ang presyo. Right, that is a valid uh, valid point, right? Property appreciation. Let's talk about property appreciation so that you will understand how much should you consider in a property uh, appreciation. By average, this is Philippines house prices growth from March 2015 to 2018. So you have to take that into consideration. Okay? Um, dito, right, um, you can see that the charts on September, bumaba, summer, numataas, summer ulit, um, tumataas May, September, January, then bumababa. But on average, it, it, it plays around 5 to 6% annual, right? So 5 to 6% um, annual growth uh, of your property, um, what do you call this, of your property uh, appreciation. So if meron kayong 1 million na property, um, appreciation po niyan every year, pwede nyo po, after one year, pwede nyo po ibenta ng mga around 6% more, 6 to 10% depending on your area. Okay? This is just the average um, in the country, pero kung yung location nyo po is napakaganda na location, mas mabilis po mag-appreciate yan. Pwede mang 10% to 20% ang increase niyan kung maganda ang location. Okay? But this is just on average. Okay, so this is how you earn also. Bili ka ng property and meron ako 1 million uh, na tutulong na sa banko. Instead of um, placing it in the bank, bili ko na lang ng lote. Tapos after one year, nag-increase na ng 5 to 6%. Mas malaki pa sa banko. Minsan kung maganda location, 10 to 20%, mas maganda pa sa banko. Tapos ibenta mo lang. Tapos i-put up mo na for selling. I want to sell it at this price. Malaking increase. Then that's you how you earn right away in property appreciation. But again, liquidity is an issue here. Okay? Alright, so one of the problems with foreclosed house is kung may nakatira na need mo pang bayaran sila lang umalis. Um, not necessarily. If it's a foreclosed, pina, pinaalis na yan sila. Right? Um, uh, dapat may lawyer kayo. Hindi nyo na kailangan bayaran yan. Dapat, di ba? Kung foreclosed yan. Um, Ronel, 196 Batista, but I could be wrong, Daran Boa. We can, I, I can check it out for you, okay? Ronel, 169 Batista, uh, good morning po. Question lang po, magkaroon ba ng ina-allocate uh, nyo in, in average sa isang stock? It depends on you. Iba-iba po tayo ng financial uh, levels, iba-iba po tayo ng risk level. So, it's up to you how much you want to allocate on a stock. Depende po yan. Alright, so, property appreciation, that's it. So, yeah, um, that's what I want to talk about real estate. So, please make sure, again, my key points here is make sure when you enter real estate investments, you have funds na already for emergency. Kung hindi po, wag po kayo dumiretso sa real estate when it comes to investing. Kasi ang mga Pinoy, especially OFWs, I know so many OFWs na um, may tabaho na ako, bili ako ng bahay para may makita ako sa um, pinaghirapan ko. Mali po yung mindset na yan, okay? You have to make sure you're buying an asset and make sure you have your funds, you have managed your funds properly before you go into real estate because this is a very big commitment when it comes to investing. Pwede rin mag-collapse kasi ang real estate, okay? So, yeah. Um, that's it for our topic for today. We'll go now to our main topic for today which is the stock market. And uh, let's go to stock market. Let me open my charts and PSEI. Let's check out PSEI. See PSEI. And nag down si PSEI last Friday on profit taking after a very strong climb, seven eight 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 seven eight eight five point twenty three, which is still very good. Naman, I still uh, I still consider this a very good move for. PSEI. Um, Darren Bowa, kasi Sir Lloyd, kahit ang SSS hindi nagpapaalis, dyan ba sa Cebu? Hindi. Kasi dito uh, sa Wadab, ganun eh. Um, dito sa amin, pinapaalis eh. If it's foreclosed, then foreclosure, the, the, uh, the pag even gives them 30 days to move out. Once na, um, dapat makamove out na sila. Right? Um,
Right. So, Lawrence, mahirap magpaalis ng foreclosed properties or house, lalo na kung nakasquat doon ang former owner. Yeah, mahirap ang squatter. So, right. uh, I purchase pag-ibig for closed properties much better na bumili uh, lang ng lote na walang nakasquat. Actually, uh, yes, pwede nyo siya nang paalisin, but um, it will require attorneys and etc. Minsan ang mga tao, kasi ayaw na ng hassle, uh, binabayaran na lang. But basically, you can have them get out dapat, right? Uh, Joel Gales, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Very good. Thank you for those points, right? Ohio, from Zerxis, right? So, yeah. Joel Gales, good morning, Long Rio. Good morning, Hops. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ano po take ninyo sa Frutas IPO? Chart request, by, uh, chart request po IRC and FB. Right? IRC and FB. IRC and FB. Let's check this out. Um, Frutas. I'll research more about it, but I am not a, a fan of that. Bakit? Um... It's not a business that is very unique um, for me. Um, marami naman pwedeng gumawa at kumontra sa products nila. So it's not very unique. Um, I think the growth will not be that big of a deal. Kasi hindi naman talaga, um, hindi naman siya necessary na pagkain talaga. It's much more on dessert and snacks lang si, uh, si Frutas. It is doing well, but growth wise i think it's not i don't i'm not a fan of its uh, i'm not a fan of its growth um potential but i'll still do more research about it and let's see what will happen okay irc i've already recommended irc from this support um yeah okay pa rin naman si irc umaakyat na from the support so it's still okay si irc as long as the support holds si fb nag-hold pa rin ng support so yes it's still a buy buy as long as that support holds for fb um Brian Solier, my buntag, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Paki-insight naman si ABS. So nga pala guys, please share the video. Paki-share po ang video para naman po yung mga friends ninyo and your relatives will know more about financial uh, financial uh, literacy, about, especially the topic right now, which is real estate investing. Malaman po na advantages and disadvantages and how to get in real estate and how to earn from it. Brian Solier, my buntag, Sir Lloyd. Paki-insight naman sa ACB, SES, Netflix. Salamat. So, ACB is international market. Very good. Um, ACB, um, speaking of international market, um, last Friday, medyo bagsak ang market, but that's okay as um, natural sa market. So, ACB is starting to give us uh, good sig- uh, good signals. Um, this company is doing well. It's just that um, medyo down pa ang market sentiments. But we are already at RSI's na buy si- signals. If you know RSI, these are buy signals already. So, malapit na mahinog to actually. Okay, for me, this is already looking good. If ever mag-confirm to ng support, I will test that out to trade it and then and then actually pwede na itong bodega I think this is going to be climbing anytime soon. We're reaching very good levels already of support for for ACB. But since this is a trading stock, make sure trading ang purpose niyo diyan. Just cut your losses if ever needed. Uh, kaya test buy lang para maliit lang po ang lo- losses niyo. Okay? Um, ACB, SES and Netflix. SES. Si Netflix ang tindi ng pullback eh because of the market. Um, SES stabilizing right now. For me, it's very volatile so it's really hard to guess. Um, pa- pero pag nag-green ito, parang may support na ito eh. This has been holding for 3 days already. Pag nag-green yan today, pwede nyo trade yan. Uh, strict cut loss lang. Okay? Below that si- for SES. Uh, si Netflix. I have Netflix. Um, Netflix incorporated right so massive pullback after a very strong climb after the earning surge right so nag pullback we're now at ma20 let's see if ever mag bounce in netflix if this bounces that's a buy and then use ma20 as your support for netflix right um that's for brian solier's question fen po right fen at nine o'clock we will go through my recommendations really quick okay no not here not here here it's a fin. Fin, this are a fin. Right, so we're seeing a resistance here in fin. We're seeing another resistance move. So, nawawala ang momentum ni fin. So, it's not good to recommend fin right now. I will want fin to make a pullback and bounce. If hindi po tayo bigyan ng pullback and bounce, then maybe a breakout will be a good entry for this technically. Right, so breakout na lang if ever hindi tayo bigyan ng pullback. Pullback and bounce, that's the best entry for fin. Right, so... Long Rio Platil, si AC is very, looking very well right now. Um, I'm still waiting for AC to do a bounce 
Pag nag-bounce yan sa support, it is gonna be a divergence bounce. So that's gonna be a very good support for AC and I will recommend AC, buying AC there. Actually, I recommended AC here because of this support right here, double bottom, di ba? And then, if ever, mag-bounce ulit yan dyan, that's a further confirmation of a support. Mas solid na support na yan. That's where we enter it again. Jokas Marshall, good morning Sir Lloyd, good morning then. From, watching from KSA, good morning po sa inyo. Alice Kabigting, good morning Coach, like and Miss Apple. Jeffsy KPPI, MBT, Meg, uy, si MBT. Congratulations sa mga nagbubodega kay MBT. Starting to grow up already, di ba? Alright, so big, massive volume for... MBT, congratulations sa mga nagbodega dito sa baba for Metro Bank. Right? I've been recommending it there for how many days? And we now have upward momentum. So hopefully this is the start of the uptrend already. Reversal na po tayo kay MBT. We already have a higher high. If it gives us a higher low, then that's further confirmation of the reversal. So congratulations. So right now, I don't want to recommend MBT. It's way up there. And then we're not in pullback and bounce ni MBT before we want to get in. Again, congratulations sa mga pumasok when we recommended it. Si Meg. Meg, ganun. And si Meg recommended Meg here. Market pa rin naman si Meg. I don't want to recommend it. We have possible resistances here. Um, so, medyo nasa gitna na tayo support and resistance. Hopefully, bigyan tayo ng support ni Meg. Doon natin pasukin. Huwag ngayon na nasa gitna. Very high risk yung position right now. Um, JFC. Si JFC. Um, pullback. This is okay. So, sa mga nag-aabang kay JFC na pullback, this is the pullback that we're talking about. Antayin po natin ang bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan, that will be an entry for JFC. KPPI KPPI Alright, so KPPI um, We have momentum KPP, K, KPPI So this is okay Meron lang tayong resistance dito eh So, very challenging for KPPI um, Hopefully, it does a breakout Pag nag-breakout, breakout entry tayo uh, or pull back and bounce at MA20 since nag-trigger naman sa upper Bollinger Band. So, there's momentum in the stock right now. So, any bounce soon should be an entry for KPPI. MBT Meg and PPG. PPG. Si Papa God. Alright. PPG. Um, doing pullback, right? Okay, hintayin natin itong, ano, I, I will want, we'll wait for it near MA20 so that we can use MA20 as our support. But any bounce soon, that will be our support. So, this is a good pullback for PPG. Let's see if mag-continue yung uptrend niya. Just that, medyo mataas na ni PPG. I don't really like playing with stocks up there. Alright, so, but anyways, that's a good position nonetheless. Uh, Daisy Torni Tornino, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Joe Salak, um, blessed Monday. Morning, Sir Lloyd. Blessed Monday morning then. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. JFC, we just covered JFC. Uh, ISM po. Si ISM, nag-bounce naman si ISM. We're still playing at support levels. I'm recommending ISM. Pero so, baka magkaiba tayo ng sentiments kasi kay ISM. So, I'm into ISM for long term. So, I always recommend ISM whenever it does a dip. So, I, I keep buying the support as much as possible. This is a triple bottom support for ISM. Um, these are good levels to buy ISM. Okay? I'm keeping it for long term as long as ano as long as uh, what they call this um matutuloy naman ang third telco and so far wala namang bad news and so far good news lang naman ang malabas just that um wala pa tayong fundamentals nakikita we don't know how it will be doing when it starts operating so if ever maganda then this should go up so I'm betting on that right now so betting meaning I this is speculative as of the moment. So make sure you know what you are doing if you are willing to go long term in this because we're speculating that it will be doing well. I think it will because it's backed up by the government. So yes, I think it will do well as a third telco. RB Necessito, good morning Sir Lloyd and everyone. Oh nga pala, um, RB is our, uh, what they call this, is our speaker for November 20 event. So I want to hype that event. All right, so I just want to unpin this. Unpinned from the, kasi tapos na yung promotion eh. Hopefully, naka-join naka kayo sa promotion, okay? Um, sa lahat ng mga nag-create ng account under me, and then uh, you created, a, uh, you funded the account before October 18, you should be able to receive the money this week. Okay, so where is that post about RB? Right, ipin ko ulit, ulit sa taas. And si RB, right? So this is a seminar on... Uh, pinan top of page. This is a seminar on November 11 and 10 and 11. This is a day trading seminar. And my co-speaker here is Miss Arby 
Mrs. Sesito, right? She is um the she placed 11th pala, ni 13th ito. She placed 11th on Itoro's trading competition in Asia last month for September and she is doing well all still for this month. Let's let me see RB how much she is doing already in ano in for this month, RB Necesito. So her profile, you can see her performance, uh, stats, right? So statistics, she's already 42.55%. Last week, 30% lang ito. Right, sure, she's already up 42.55 this October. Amazing, amazing growth uh, for funds. Last month, 105.97%. So kung may isang million kayo, si RB, naging 2 million yon. So if she had 100,000 in Itoro, naging 200,000 yon in just one month. right? And right now, she's already up 42.55%. If you want to learn how she is doing it, follow her Facebook page. Yan po si RB Necesito. Nag-comment po sa atin. RB Necesito, Itoro Day Trading. And also, um, join the seminar. This seminar is for free. All you need to do is register and follow the registration instructions dito sa Facebook page po natin. Nasa pinakataas yan, makikita nyo kagad. Huwag nyo po sasayangin ito. It's gonna be free and wala pong limit sa mga attendees as long as you follow the registration. So, be like RB. How do you do it? RB is gonna share to us how she does it. Okay, malapit na po to, November 10 and 11, so less than a month more to go. And we will be giving you instructions most probably by next week on feedback on your registration and um, preparation instructions. Okay, so please join. Huwag niyo po sasayangin yan. Um, congratulations, RB. Doing well. Amazing. Idol. Right, for day trading. Right, Rom De Leon, sir, pacheck naman ang ABBA. Right, si ABBA. Right, ABBA Core. Okay, so Abacor mukhang pa-pullback pa. So we have highs right here, which is pocket, which is very good. Ang problema ko kay Aba, lakas na resistance, right? But then again, this is an ascending triangle slowly starting to go up. It failed to break out and bumaba and it will attempt to do a breakout again. Pinarecommendation ko lang dito is just do the breakout strategy instead for Aba, As we don't know if this resistance is going to hold out or not as of the moment. Right, Sir Abba, Melo 101. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, Ding R.E.V. Ayan, nabasa na natin itong mga comments na ito. Uh, Sean Salomidas, good morning. Meg po pala from Sales. Si Meg naman, antayin lang natin mag-pullback si Meg ng bongga kasi may, medyo nasa gitna na eh. Right, very high risk already si Meg. Sana noon, right, natin pinasok si Meg. Right, John Cornejo, good morning. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Okay pa ba ISM? We just covered ISM. Still okay for me. Sir, what about condo parking? It's up to you. If you're using it personally, you you have to buy a parking, right? Kasi mag parking fees kayo every day, di ba? It should be should be feasible in the future. But if you're renting it out, you don't need condo parking, right? If you are a businessman and you, if you live in that area and you have a car, buy condo parking, of course. Kaysa saan saan yun lang pinapark ang ano. Be responsible then if you're an owner of a car. Okay? So it's up to you. Good invest din po ba ang condo parking? Pwede rin. Pwede nyo kasi i-benta yung condo parking eh, di ba? So, it's up to you if you want to. I don't uh, I don't necessarily go do, do, go into, I don't consider condo parking anymore. But it can be a way to earn also. Kung gusto nyo pa i-ano, kung gusto nyo pa i-benta sa mga condo owners. It's, I don't know if it's easy. I don't have a study if it's easy to sell that. Right? So, very good point, Eric Bonus. I'll ask John about that. How is the condo parking sales going? Par Daran Boa, one of the prob problem with foreclosed yet. We covered this already. Um, asan yan? Alright, so good morning po. This is from Ronel Batista. Magkano ina-allocate nyo average sa isang stock? Depende. Depende on my sentiments on the stock. I'm heavy on JFC right now. I am heavy on BDO. I'm heavy on SMPH. Mas malaki allocation ko doon because those are my fundamental stocks. When it comes to your port, dapat malaki ang funds nyo doon sa mga stocks na gustong gusto ninyo or you know are very fundamentally good. Basic is protect your money. And how do you protect your money in stocks? Put it in good companies. Right? Darren Boa. Right? So, na-cover na natin to kanina. Oh, hi, August. I must um, services. Darren, you're welcome. Eric Bonus, condo parking, sir. Okay din po ba? Right? So, I'll ask John about that. How are the sales? I don't have a study about that. So, yeah. Um, Arnold Capiral, sir. Possibly din mag-change name si ISM. Possibly bang di mag-change name sa ISM. 
Possibly naman, right? Um, there's nothing impossible, pero possibly rin naman na matutuloy. So it's up to you if you uh, if you want to bet on it or not. I think it will kasi na-approve na ng ano nila, ng board nila. It just takes time, right? Si LHC, tagal-tagal rin. Tingnan niyan yan si Fen, di ba? Si, si Fen mag-change ng name. Tagal-tagal pa yan bago ma-change, right? Jote Soriano, good morning sir, new people here. Hello, good morning. All right, thank you for joining. Welcome to the Daily Grind. This is the reason why I ask you to share the video. Please share the video to your Facebook groups, to your, to your Facebook walls, para naman pa mga newbies malaman nila that there's a program like this that will help them in the stock market journey. All right, Zersix, Netflix and MPI po. Uh, we covered Netflix already. Si Netflix nang pull back pa. NT... Right, so Netflix the pull back pa. It's now very near MA20. So let's see if it will bounce at MA20. If it bounces, then that is a good time to check it out. Pag nag bounce, right? Check it out because we have a good support right there. If you wanna trade it only, then cut your losses below MA20. So very good position for Netflix right now. So MPI, oh no, MPI. Right, MPI naman, um, after the strong climb, hindi naman nagsusustain. So, we will wait for MPI to get in near the support. Um, if ever lumapit the support at mag bounce, then that will be uh, a recommendation for me for sure. Um, Ray Raymond Moralde, good morning, sir. How about po SSI Coach Lloyd impact with Crystal Jade? Haven't checked that out yet, so, but SSI is looking uh, is looking well right now in this position right here. So, pababa yung presyo niya. But um, RSI is starting to go up already, so that's a divergence, meaning this is a very good bottom, viable bottom for SSI. Uh, inflation is very well. Um, so, the news niyan with um, ads Crystal Jade, so this should be adding uh, adding value to SSI already. I don't know Crystal Jade's fundamentals just that much yet. That's why I am shaky about this. But this should be good. Why would a company buy it if they don't have plans, di ba? So, yeah, um, that should be adding value to SSI. Good thing na, rec na, na recommend na natin si SSI. If it goes volatile because of this news, they should be doing well. But this is 10 days ago. So, medyo okay naman. Um, na, na recommend na natin yun. Eh. Um, asan ako? Sean, so let me, this morning, Sir Lloyd, my position ako sa MBT. What's the best strategy sa dividend? If I sell it on next date, makuha ko rin ba yung 13% dividend? Yes, makukuha niyo po yung dividends if you sell it on next date. But expect a drop on next date. So, 50-50 yan. You have to choose kung gusto niyo yung climb lang or gusto niyo yung dividends. Kasi pag nag-dividends yan, yes, may makukuha kang dividends but ang consequence naman po niyan, babagsak yung presyo. So, up to you. Which you want, what, what do you want to do with it? Jyote Suryano, sir, ano? Unsaon bang ilan na healthy ra ang RSI, salamat sir from Mindanao, Surigado, sir, Bis League City. I have a video about RSI. Please check it out. Sir, um, let's open YouTube so that you know what you what to look for. YouTube.com um, RSI Search for RSI Lloyd Bazaar. Right, so the secrets of using RSI. Meron po dyan the use of how to use RSI and especially the divergences, very important. Plus, search for this video, RSI and Lloyd Bazaar. Ito po, the secret of using RSI. Okay, so um, that should be helpful. Uh, sir, and saan pag ila? Right, um, so it's in that video. Rosalind Dariano, somehow your message got retracted. Jennifer Gaida, good morning, sir, from South Korea. Sir, pa site naman kay DMC, nag down payment ng two condo unit, tapos na isip na bigla ako. By pera agad masyado hype lang ang agent. Uh -huh. Yes, that's the problem with ano. That's the problem with real estate. You have to study it properly. And baka mahirapan pa kayo. And you're not financially ready. When the, that's the biggest problem with Filipinos right now. They go into real estate, and then they realize that they're not yet financially ready for a condominium. And ang laki ng bawas niyan sa pera niyo actually. Yes. Yeah, so baka mabigla kayo. Masasayang lang. Or so Jennifer Gaida. Uh, this is her experience. I'm not sure specifically ano nangyari. Pero nakapag-down payment na siya ng dalawa kay DMC. Um, ah, hindi. Nagdalawang condominium unit. Pero naisip bigla. Uh, Nag-bye-bye siya sa down payment niya. So, that's sad. Alright? So, please make sure you're financially ready 
per condominium investment. DMC, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, uh, you, it should be at the last levels of your investments. Dapat may extra pera kayo na hindi nyo kailangan kagad. DMC, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay DMC. We've been recommending DMC a lot. Recommended DMC here. Bakit? Because of the RSI divergence. A good company. And then good volume last Friday. So, we have a resistance. I cannot recommend it right there. Um, next pullback na lang and bounce for DMC. Medyo nakalipad na sa DMC, right? Rosalind Dariano, Mayang Buntag, can I copy trade your account in eToro even if my funds is just minimum while waiting for the seminar to happen? Dagan salamat. Yes, you can do that. Um, especially that my positions are down right now, right? So, it's negative 131. I'm still holding these positions because I think the positions are still gonna go up. So, if they go up, they you should be gaining. And then, you can always exit anytime. So, Rosalind, you can do that. Um, Jota Soriano, salamat sa mga videos, sir. Natututo po ako. God bless you, sir. You're welcome po. Jo Salak sila. Sis, any insight? Ah, oh, sinisis na ako. Sis, any insights for M1? Salamat. Okay, sis. <laughs> Wait. Jo, ah, hindi ako babae, ah. <laughs> Jo Salak, sir. So, insights for M1. M1, good company. Um, I think it's bottoming out. Starting to bottom out. Medyo pumupula siya. Um, but RSI is not it's not really that heavy on the downward so any bounce should be a good support for ano, good support for MY if ever mag green yan then you, we should be that should be a buy for MY that's still at support areas for me Melan Cruz Malen pala Malen Cruz good morning sir good morning then Alvin Galva, uh, Galvez uh, Alvin Galvez uh, Sir Lloyd kapag nag green po ba after bumaba signal na ng bounce yan. Usually, yes, especially if nag-create na ng higher high and then higher low or nag-touch sa upper Bollinger Band tas pumula tas nag-bounce, that's a pullback bounce. Right? So, yes. Um, sir pala. <laughs> Sorry sa typo. Ayan pala yun. Uh, uh, Jota Soriano. Sir, ano nangyari kay BLFI? BLFI. Right, so, if you know, napakababa ng inflation natin sa country ngayon, di ba? Pag mababa ang inflation, um, bumababa yung mga interest sa leasing and finance. So, this is their leasing uh, this is their leasing arm. Eh, ang baba ng interest ngayon, so most probably maliit yung kita natin makikita. Look at that, second quarter, negative 105%. So, 126%. So, laki na negative for BFLI right now because of pababa ng pababa yung mga interest rates okay so maliit ang kita um but at the same time um kasi pag inflation kasi pag bababa inflation yung mga yung mga yung mga bilhin hindi naman umakyat ang presyo so people don't need to buy uh, to borrow money this should go back um this should come back to recovery anytime soon kasi pag nakita how stable the economy is people will start and if the economy is stable and the 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 interest rates are down people will start to borrow again so we should be able to see recoveries anytime soon in the future okay richard uh, alan J, J. bolisay good morning sir lloyd pasilip naman sok at brn Sock and BRN. SOC, maganda. Green si Sock last, ano eh, last Friday. It is Sock. We have a support for Sock. If you want to test out the support, you can. Pwede naman testing in a support na ito kay Sock. Ang lakas na support na yan. Right? So, just cut loss below that. Very low risk as of the moment. It's ang nga lang, hindi pa uptrend. So, hindi natin alam kung saan talaga papunta yan. Um, BRN. Yeah, good support. Bounce for BRN. Good price action already. Um, medyo nasa gitna na tayo support resistance. If you can bargain for a little bit around 0.81, that will be a good entry point for BRN. So hopefully, makapasak makin sa 0.81. Wala pa namang volume, so there's no demand on it yet. So there's no spike, so no need to be aggressive. JC Lazar, good morning, Idol. Pasilip naman po si Finn. Si Finn, masyadong mataas na. Wait for it po. Do a pullback or a breakout for Finn? Joseph Tanael. So, hi Joseph, sir. Paano po buy yung basic short and buy sell sa eToro mechanically? Kasi yung nag-sell ako kasi positive na yung port ko after ko close negative port ko. Practicing po sa virtual. Hmm. Baka na ano ka ng charges, right? Because short, when you're short selling, you have charges. So, basically, when you're short selling, um, 
let's say, let's go to my virtual portfolio. Meron ako ng short dito, eh, si gold, di ba? So, shorting right now, gold. So, right now, kay gold, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's do the math, okay? So, I'm um, basically earning 10.18, right? 10.18 right now, kay gold. Let's oh, click this one. So, may dalawang positions ako. 10.18, 10.16, 10.29 in gains ko. If, if I sell these, right, 10.15, let's say, I s close my position, 10.16, uh, uh, 10.12, close trade. So, dapat nag-add ng 10.12 yan. Dyan. Right, so, positive naman yon. Nag-add nag tayo, di ba? So, that was a positive sell. Naka-short sell ito, ha? So, I'm not really sure ba't ka nag-negative, baka matagal mo hanawak or nag-short sell ka. Kasi may, short, may charges on short sell at saka nag-leverage ka. Careful with leverage, okay? Kasi may charges lang overnight si leverage and a weekend. Uh, so, yeah, positive naman ito. Look at this, 393, tapos i-close ko ito. Kung i-close ko ito, 393.53, 393.51, right? So, and 393.51, so... Because of the charges, and nag-ano siya. So, um, problema nito, walang history to eh. Right, so, history. Right, sell gold, 0.28 ang kinita ko. Right, so makikita niyo po dito, when you open it, when you close leverage 1, so, how much you gained? May total refund pa na $1.36. Um, Siguro we'll we'll make a we'll make a separate uh separate discussion about that okay we'll make a separate discussion about it it's 9:14 na pala hindi ko pa nabibigay yung um recommendations ko for today let's go to my recommendations really quick konti lang naman recommendations ko for today i only have four right i'll put it on the comments right pnb imi tel and lr um P, yung iba kasi naka pag nagliliparan eh right so pnb Uy, especially si Tugs, right? I wanna cover Tugs. I've been recommending Tugs. Bodegayin niyo po yan. Congratulations sa mga nakasakay Tugs. It was up 5.73% last Friday. And it's now touching the upper Bollinger Band. So we are most probably gonna be riding a good climb of Tugs. So congratulations sa mga bumili kay Tugs when I recommended it. Um, una, PNB. Recommending PNB for today. Right, so recommended PNB last Friday and umakita siya. It's still okay to get in overall. Still very cheap si PNB. So I'm still gonna be recommending PNB even after the climb last Friday. Next, IMI. Congratulations sa pumasok ng Friday. Umakit na yun. IMI, this is a good pullback and we have a support confirmation for a higher low for IMI. So yes, um, IMI, this is a good climb and maganda yung volume lately ni IMI. Eh. So after this divergence right here, IMI is doing well and we have a pullback and bounce. So I'm recommending IMI. Trading stock lang ito. So strict cut, cut loss if ever gusto nyo po i-trade si IMI. Si TEL naman. Alright, TEL. Good price action already for TEL. We have a support and starting to go up the price action niya. RSI starting to go up also. So yes, TEL is doing well. I'm recommending TEL. Buy as long as the support holds. Cut loss below that. Uh, LR also. Si LR. Um, confirmation of the supports. Uh, very good uh, divergence already for LR. I want you to test out the support if you're trading. This is a bottom picking strategy. And let's try to, do to bottom pick it. If ever it crashes down, you just cut your losses. But definitely, I have very good confidence in this one right here. So I think LR has bottomed out already and should go up anytime soon. So yes, I'm recommending LR today. Isa sa paborito ko si LR. Okay. Ah, so naka-leverage ka, Joseph. Yes, if when you're leveraging, it it will add up to the overnight fees. Right, so, yan. Um, good day, sir. AGI Tugs, LHC, pa-check po. Thank you. Si Tugs, medyo nakalipad na. So, I don't want to recommend that anymore. I just covered it earlier. Si AGI, congratulations. We recommended AGI here for how many days? Makiat na, nagpa-pullback na. So, next bound should be our next entry for AGI. Congratulations. This is already an, a higher high for AGI. So, congrats sa mga pumasok kay AGI when we recommended it. Antay na tayo ng pullback and next bounce. LHC. LHC. Medyo nakalipad na si LHC eh. Hindi na natin, mahirap na pasukin ni LHC. We recommended LHC here. Recommended so many times. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok. We are now waiting for next pullback and bounce for another re-entry for LHC. I cannot recommend it anymore since mataas na po masyado. Sir Pizza. Alright, my favorite food. 
si Pizza, mukhang my confirmation of support si Pizza. All right, um I did not rec- I'm not I did not recommend pizza because overall downtrend siya. Pero possible naman kasi na meron na ano dito eh. Possibly meron na tayong meron na tayong support dito. This is a possible support. I just want for you want you can you go aggressive on this since low risk naman siya, tight stop loss lang. Um I want it to do a breakout from the downtrend and create a confirm a support before I want to really want to recommend pizza. But this is looking good already. Malapit na mahinog ito. Neville Tagde, what's up with Mackay? Parang may alam sila natin na hindi alam. Yun ang problema sa PSE, bulungan. So, Mackay has been going up and mukhang wala tayong alam. Mer- meron tayong alam. Uh, well, meron silang alam na hindi natin alam. We can't know for sure, but guys, momentum trading lang ito. Ha? Baka mag-momentum ito today. If you know how to do momentum trading, then that's good. You can take advantage of the momentum right now because there's strong momentum. But if you don't know how to do it, wag na po kayo maiinggit. We are position traders. I want to train you to become position traders first. And antay na lang tayo ng pullback and bounce. Maybe, hopefully, it gives us one. But right now, wag po kayo maiinggit. Okay? Um, um, salamat sir sa info about BL- BLFI. Kampante na po ako. Starting to download na po about our site video mo sir. Kasi may master ko yung Bollinger Bands. Thanks then sa video about Bollinger Bands. Alright. Oh nga pala. Um yeah, uh, if you are into trading kasi gusto niyo po mag-trade talaga. Alam ko mga Pinoy gusto mag-trade. It's exciting. It's a much more exciting way to invest in trading, di ba? Please trade in Itoro instead. Right? Dito tayo sa Itoro mag- mag-trade, guys. Mas maganda ang companies, mas malaki ang volume, so it's much much easier to trade here. Bakit kayo magpapahirap at magsasayang ng pera sa PSE? Mm. What I recommend in PSE really right now is position trade bottom picks on your money and as much as possible if you want to go aggressive in trading, go to the international market. Tuturuan po namin kayo paano. Join us in eToro, right? Just make sure you create an eToro account using my link and dyan po sa video description. That helps the channel a lot. Kaya po nakakapagbigay po tayo ng libre ng mga seminars, these episodes, and the seminars on November 10 and 11, it's because of the support you did also. But I want to recommend eToro. Ang dami pong nag-approach sa akin ng mga brokers na magpa, ano din, magpa, mag-sponsor din sa atin. Um, wala kasing kaibahan eh. Wala kasing kaibahan. Right? I always ask them what makes you different from other brokers. Sinasabi nila mas lesser ang fees, etc. etc. But not, I'm not after that. I want to really give good value to to everyone. Right? So, and Filipinos, since busy tayo, marami na tatrabaho. Copy trading is very good. And kung gusto niyo po maging magaling na trader, dito pa rin tayo sa eToro kasi pwede tayong magpakopya sa mga tao and we earn extra in return. So it's win-win for traders and sa mga newbies. Diba? So join us in eToro. Join the seminar this November 10 and 11. Um, libre lang po yan. Pag po ba eToro, pwede US and PSE ng sabay? Pwede naman. Right? Um, I have PSE right now and I have eToro. I am more aggressive in eToro in my positions. Sa PSE, naka long term lang ako. Right. Fluffy day, good morning sir. Any idea about ISM? Good to tackle today sir. Any idea ISM? Well, I think we already know all the ideas about ISM. Um, so yeah, I, there's nothing new with ISM right now. We're just waiting for ISM to really start the start the operations and then we'll see what will happen from then on. Adonar Gourmet sir, good morning. Pasilip so PX and Max sir. It's 921 so we still have time. Okay, let's cover this. Um, PX... Right, just ISM is it's troubling me. ISM will need patience. It's up to you if you have patience or not. If you're patient enough to wait for it to start operating and look at it five years from now, then that's okay. Iwanin yung pera nyo. But if ever you are bothered by the position right now and you're scared, that means you're not ready for that decision. Bawasan yun na lang po. Bawasan yung positions nyo kay ISM. Lagay nyo po sa ibang stocks. Ang dami kong nire-recommend sa inyo na maganda. Okay? Sir, good morning. Si PX. Right, si PX. Uy, maganda ito ah. Looks like PX has good... Um, let's wait for PX to break out. This is forming a lower low. So, medyo downtrend po siya. If it does a breakout from this, that's a good sign of reversal. We have earlier early signs of reversal already. But a breakout should be a confirmation for for PX. Maxis naman po. This is from Kuwait. Right, from Kuwait. Si Adonar Gourmet. Maxis... Um, looking well, right? I think, um, okay na, nagsa-sideways na ulit si Maxis. And a next pullback and bounce should be the best entry for 
fair enough for maxis okay after breaking out from this downtrend this would have been the good best entry right here uh kasi wala hindi ko na recommend yan and then next pullback and bounce should be the best enter okay uh next entry best entry uh hi good morning all from brem bulatao good morning john remon good morning sir lloyd been learning so much from your channel what's your tech take on pse and p uh, pse's pip pepsi all right so pip I was scared of PIP because of the news na na a titigil na stocks nila but PIP is doing well again right after that so nag support lang so this would have been a very good catch after hitting the supports right here and right now market na si PIP right um I can't say it's in an uptrend already but it did break go above MA20 so a next pullback and bounce should be a good time to test it again and let's see if nag magtutuloy na sa trend si PIP. Right now, it's still shaky. I can't recommend it. Alright, so that's it for today. Hopefully, you learned a lot with our topics for today uh, about real estate and about stocks. I want to shout out again um, yung seminar natin, November 10 and 11. Please register. Libre lang po yan if you want to learn how to day trade. If you want to learn how Miss RB Necesito is doing it. RB has already been uh, are, so it's already doing 40%, 42% for October. Last month is 105%. If you want to know how she is doing it, and she's been doing well consistently already for this month, uh, if you want to know how she's doing it, join our seminar November 10 and 11. That's for free. All you need to do is register. Abel Fernandez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, now po, Sir Lloyd, um, thank you so much, sir. Stay healthy and more power. Happy trading. Thank you so much. Happy trading also. Um, habo lang last si now. Okay, cover natin si now. I recommended now dito sa support. And so far, so good. Maakit naman si now. Um, very challenging right now. Palapit na tayo sa resistances. I, okay, now kasi I always want to buy the dips in uh, lang. Right, I recommended now here at the dip. Bumaba ng konti, but that was still a support. So I still recommended it here. Numakit naman. So congratulations sa mga umakit, um, nakasakay noon. So it dipped again here. I recommended it again. Just buy the dips of now. Right now, it's challenging. It's already between support and resistance. I cannot recommend it anymore. I bottom pick nyo lang po ito si now. Just keep buying the dips of now. Right, so... Again, that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining today's episode. As always, let's get rich together. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and create an eToro using my link so that you can support the channel. Bye, everyone.